The Think to Swim workaround requires a startup from the command line, and a popular question is if it can be run by double clicking an icon like the original Think or Swim. I finally found a way to do this, and that's what this video is about. One user, however, reported a problem with this approach in that it sometimes returned errors in not being able to find launcher.jar. I was able to reproduce this problem and investigated it last night and found a solution to the problem. The problem appears to be an intermittent access issue with subdirectories under the default directories like downloads, documents, movies, and so on. Terminal can normally see these directories, but sometimes it can't, so programs run under Terminal can't see the directories and the launch fails. I have run into this sometimes with the command line launch in the past. What I did was just shut down Terminal, restart it, and the problem went away. So part of the solution is creating another thinkorswim directory and then copying the contents of downloads thinkorswim into it. This solution requires using a small script that converts another shell script to an app. The app will pop up a terminal window, ask you for your password, and then launch the thinkorswim workaround. It will leave the terminal window up, which you can close. This solution means that you don't have to store your macOS password in a file, which is something that I wanted to avoid. The first step is to open up a finder window and then go to your home directory and then create a new folder and we'll call it think or swim. Then go to downloads and think or swim and we're going to copy all the files over. to the new directory. The second step is to go to the website in the description section with the title, How to Create Simple Mac Apps from Shell Scripts, and then open up a terminal window. So we'll go to Applications, <coughs> Utilities, Terminal, close that. Then we'll copy the Enter Appify section of the web page. and type the command the command is in the description section but you can't use angle brackets in YouTube video descriptions so I put asterisks there uh, with the implication that you have to replace the asterisks with right angle brackets so we'll hit return then paste in the text or the script, hit return and control D and that creates the script. Step 3, enter the sudo command in the description. To make it runnable Next, we're going to create tos.sh, which contains the program that runs Thinkorswim. So we'll say cat, angle bracket, angle bracket, tos.sh. Then 
and paste in the contents in the description. And then hit Control D. Next type this command. Um, actually, I'm going to get rid of the quotes. The quotes aren't necessary, necessary and they just leave the quotes in the actual application name. Okay, this creates the Thinkorswim app, but you can't directly run it. So we'll go back into the Finder and go to our home area. And you can see TOS is an application, but there's a, a white circle with a line through it, which means you can't run it. So do Show Package Contents, Open Contents, Open Mac OS, and there's the application. So I'm going to copy that and then paste it to the desktop and uh, we'll click on it try and run it. It asks for the password loading updates and we're at the login screen I'm going to shut terminal down just to verify that it can run without the terminal window open. And things are good. Uh, one thing that you can't do, you can't drag this into the dock. I I'm not sure why, but it won't go into the dock. I think it has to be a complete app. And if you try and click on the app, it gives you this error. The application is not supported on this Mac. So um, I'm going to try and see if I can fix that, because it would be nice to run out of the dock. Um, the uh, Thinkorswim directory is still in downloads. Um, it's kind of up to you whether you want to leave it there. I'm probably just going to leave it there because it doesn't really hurt anything. But the updates will go in the thinkorswim directory off the top level. Uh, a couple of notes. There are directions in the web page to create a custom icon. Um, down here, adding a custom app icon. Um, that's beyond the scope of this video. Uh, with this video, you just get this thing icon that looks like a terminal window. You can change the name of the program to, from TOS to something else if you prefer. That's You do that in the Appify command. Um, if you really want to avoid typing in the password every time you run, you can remove the second and third lines and replace dollar password with your actual password. I consider this a security risk if other people have access to your computer and uh, it's not something that I recommend though it certainly is more convenient if you don't have to enter it. So that's it. If you have any problems uh, let me know.